the real thing there is when you think about sort of high-end graphics and gaming, it's not actually the Xbox or any of the consoles, it's actually back to the PC. And so if I can do that with a two graphics card system, we brought along just for fun um, a box that has four graphics cards, Digital Storm lent it to us, uh, it's the, the very highest end on the hardware side. And then we asked our friends at Square Enix to take the work they do, which is a mixture of science and really the computation side and graphics quality and art, and bring those together and show us a little bit about what you can do with DX12, with Windows 10, and sort of where this whole technology area is going. So first off, I'm gonna have their chief technologist sort of give us a little introduction. Let's go ahead and run the video. Final Fantasy 15 を開発する Square Enix BD2 の田端です私たちのチームは常に最高峰のプリレンダリング CG とリアルタイム CG を追求しています今回マイクロソフトと NVIDIA の協力を得て最先端のソフトとハードを駆使した技術デモを制作しましたビルド2015で公開できるデモはまだ少しですがこのデモはこれからさまざまな取り組みで進化していきますでは最新のデモをご覧くださいどうぞどうもありがとう Um, so Square Enix has built Final Fantasy, over 100 million copies sold. This is an art and science technology demonstration they put together. What you saw was DX11. What I'm going to do now is run through a um, similar scene in DX12. <laughs> Now you might assume looking at that that that's also a video, but the truth is that's in-game DX12. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go between manual and automatic so I can shift back and forth, and when you see the word manual up there, I'm going to drive, so let's let this go through auto, and then I'll change the lighting and you can see this real time. So as it pauses here, I can take over, so now I can scroll around, I can look down, I can change the lighting effects as they come through. I can move on to the next scene. Again, let it run in auto. And now I'm going to take, take it and drive around. Again, I can adjust the lighting. And we can keep going through in this way. Let me bring the shadows in, take them out. All right, let's keep going through. I'm going to pass through this one and go on to the next one. And we'll see as we get closer, we'll look at the skin tone. Now, the thing that's really incredible about what you're seeing is just the, the density of data that's involved in this. Um, each of these scenes is over 63 million polygons per scene. That's about six to 12 times more than we could do with DX11. Uh, just to give you an idea on the textures that, are, that you're seeing here, uh, those are 8K by 8K textures. Again, significantly more than we're able to do. I think where it gets really interesting, though, is, is look at the hair. Every piece of hair that you're seeing is actually being rendered as a polygon. This isn't surface map stuff. Um, and there, as those polygons are running through the pipeline, they're running over 50 different shaders to go through this and to generate that level of, of clarity on this. I think it's an incredible example of just how far people are pushing the limits of big data and technology, bringing it together, and really building experiences that would be hard to build almost any other way. And so our, our thanks to the folks at Square Enix for letting us show this off and for building it. Incredible piece of technology and art put together.